we are going to prepare to hear from the word of the Lord. Our Faith Overcomers leader, uh, Sister Dorit Powell, is going to be coming to bring the word of the Lord to us today. We are thankful for Sister Powell and what she has done for many years. I was looking and I see she's just walking in from the back. I was a little concerned that she got cold feet and uh, went off to Tim Hortons or something like that. But no, she's here. Um, uh, we won't be able to do everything that we had planned this morning. Um, just some logistical issues. Uh, we were going to have a, another song before she came, but that's not going to be possible just now. But uh, I'm going to ask Sister Powell to come. And, and I'm sure her husband is going to escort her as he usually does. And after, I, I can't even remember how many years of marriage they have shared together now and still going strong. The Lord has blessed them and the Lord has strengthened them. And we are so thankful to God for his blessing. So Sister Powell, come and bless us from the word of the Lord today in Jesus' name. God. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together because he's great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Yellow Lolo Mashanta, hallelujah. Yellow Lolo Mama, ha. Jesus, hallelujah. Hello Lolo Mashanta, yeah, hallelujah. Jesus, praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God, hallelujah. Isn't God good? He's wonderful. Hey, hallelujah. He's a great God. Hallelujah. Hey, he's our God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We should worship him. Amen. Praise God. So welcome. Welcome to Overcomer's Day. Praise God. We're here to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise God, because he's so worthy. He's so worthy to be praised. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. He's such a good God. So, let me see all of our overcomers today. Let me see all of our overcomers today. Praise God. Praise God. Do you know if you have been, have repented of your sins and you have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, do you know you're an overcomer? So I expected to see everybody. I expected to see everybody standing who have repented of their sins and baptized in the name of Jesus. Because here, the word of God, 1 John says that we overcome by our faith. Praise God. We escape the pollutions of the world. We put the flesh down. Praise God. We overcome the flesh. We overcome the world. Praise God. So everybody who has repented of their sins and baptized, should be on their feet, thanking God that we've overcome. We have 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 overcome. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. You may be seated. Praise God. Now, I need the senior overcomers to stand. Praise God, the 65 and over. Praise God. Now you get on your feet. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And so now, now I want to say to you that we are blessed and highly favored by God. Praise God. We are highly favored by God. Amen. Amen. He has taken us from our mother's womb and he has carried us even to old age. Praise God. Even to our gray hair. Praise God. Amen. That's what he has done for us. He's taken us from our mother's womb. Praise God. And he has brought us. So many of us are over 70, over 80. We have one who is not here this morning. She's 101. Praise God. God has taken us a long way. Praise God. Amen. Let's see what else I have here. <laughs> yes, and here, he has taken us for so many years and we're still praising him. We're still giving him thanks. Praise God because he's a good God. We are like the palm tree. Praise God. The palm tree that bears its fruit till it's, it's old. Why? Because the palm tree is a very strong tree. Its roots go deep down to keep it stable. It can go through the hurricanes and all the storms of storms, and it only shifts. It's only rock. It's rocking. And we, praise God, we are rooted and we are grounded. Hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. We are grounded in the word of God. Praise God. This is why when you come to us and you say, Sister Paul, how are you doing? I can say I'm doing good in the Lord. Praise God. I'm still praising God. I'm still doing good. Yeah, and my eyes not working too good, but here's the thing. I'm still seeing something. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So, that's it now. So, <laughs> let's, let's, just, let's just get to something else now. So, I am just giving honor to Pastor Grenville and Sister Verona and Sister Pastor Peel, Sister Peel, and the other pastors, Brother Desmond, my sister over there, giving you thanks for allowing me to be here today at short notice. Praise God. Short, short notice. So bear with me today. Bear with me. God is in the house and he's going to take care of us today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, Almighty God, you have brought me here today to speak to your people, Lord God. God, I pray that you will anoint my mind, my lips. I stand here before you, Lord Jesus. And as I speak, you said, Lord God, your words will not return to you void, but they will accomplish what you've sent them to do. Lord, I pray that your word will accomplish the good things in our lives today, Lord God. We need you so much, Lord. We need you so much, Lord. So, Lord, I pray that your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. My sister or brother who is up there, please make the 
the letter is really bold <laughs> because I have a problem. So we're going to read from Jeremiah 18, 1 to 8. Praise God. I think I'll, I'll be looking at that one. So can you all help me here? Can we read together? Can you stand as we read the word of God? Amen. The word came to Jeremiah. Are we reading together? Praise God. Saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in his hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter said the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. And the lesson in the, in the line says, when you remain on the potter's wheel and allow God to refine and mold you, then you will become a vessel of honor for his glory. I'm going to read that again. When you remain on the potter's wheel and allow God to refine you and mold you, then you will become a vessel of honor for his glory. And the title to this message today is Stay on the Potter's Wheel. Praise God. Stay on the Potter's Wheel. So God spoke to Jeremiah, saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Now, we don't know if Jeremiah was at home resting nor the time of the day. However, he knew the voice of God and was obedient to God. He didn't ask God to speak to him at home or where he was because it's so much easier if you speak to me here, Lord. He didn't say that it was too far to go to the potter's house for such a short time of service. And after all, I believe in those days, Jeremiah had to ride a donkey. So, and he didn't say, you know, Lord, I would go down there, but this donkey is tired. He's been working all week. So give the donkey a break. <laughs> we didn't hear any complaints from Jeremiah. Praise God. He, Jeremiah just went willingly because God told him to go. Praise God. So he went willingly to the potter's house where God started to show him wonderful things that he couldn't see if he was at home. 
Praise God. And wow, hallelujah. Praise God. People were worshiping. Maybe we should have a little drum roll here. Yeah, people were worshiping. <laughs> Praise God. People were worshiping. They were joyful. Hey, they were happy, rejoicing. They were feeling good. The love culture was booming. Yeah. Woo! Wow, unity increasing. Amen. Hallelujah. People repenting. Hallelujah. Being baptized and healing taking place. Hallelujah. Faith, faith restored. Faith restored. Faith restored in God. And it's all taking place in the potter's house. Praise God. All in the potter's house. Praise God. Hallelujah. And praising the Lord. We're praising the Lord for his goodness to the children of men. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. What a good God. When we come into the house of the Lord, God can show us so many things. God can change our hearts as we hear the word of God. Praise God. As we have make the application, God can change us. Praise God. So Jeremiah looked at the potter working on the vessel at the wheel, and the vessel was chipped, broken, and out of shape. But the potter didn't discard it, nor throw it away. He worked on it till the vessel seemed good to him. He didn't say that the vessels was perfect. He didn't say that the vessels were perfect, but he did say the vessels were good to him. And this is where Paul comes in. The vessels weren't perfect. So Paul is saying here, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. God knew, or he knows that we're not perfect, and, but we're good. We're looking good to him. But there's times that we mess up, don't we? We mess up sometimes. So this is why Paul is saying, when you mess up, don't condemn yourself or allow anyone else to condemn you. Praise God. And he says, you know, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made you free from the law of sin and death. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. What a good God. We're not perfect, and he knows that we're not perfect. Praise God. So, and do you know this? Do you know this is what God, the potter, wants to do for every one of us? 
When we mess up, we're broken and out of shape. He will not throw us away or abandon us. He will spend time working on us, working on us until we become the vessel that looks good to him. Praise God. He knows what's best for us. He knows, he, he wants us to be the best for him. Let's stay on the potter's wheel. Praise God. Amen. You know, there are times when God gives us a scripture at home and we don't quite understand it, understand it. And when we go to the house of God, our pastor is in the pulpit and he speaks on the scripture bringing understanding. Praise God. And we can make, we understand, he gives us the understanding and we can also make the application. Praise God. Amen. So, um, can you just put up uh, Jeremiah 18, 5 and 6, please? Let's just read it again. O house of, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, says the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Praise God. So, Jeremiah, so God says to Jeremiah, and um, just notice from the scripture, uh, Jeremiah was already in the house of the Lord before God started to speak to him. He didn't tell him anything when he was at home. He said, just go there, down to the potter's house and you will, I will speak with you there. Praise the Lord. So that's what Jeremiah did. And then God says, O house of Israel. He's talking to Jeremiah. He's talking to Jeremiah about his people. His people. And he says, O house of, cannot I do with you as this potter? God said, just as how the potter had the natural clay in his hand and made beautiful vessels, I want to do the same with you. You are in my hands. Do we know that we're in God's hands? Yes, we are in God's hands. I want to make you and mold you. I want you to have my character. God finds it hard sometimes to really change his highest creation because Israel here, his people, was so disobedient. We know there's nothing hard for God However, in this case, God will not violate our freedom of choice if we don't want to serve him willingly. He will not force his will upon us. God will not force us. He will not force us. He loves us so much that he gave his life for us he loves us more than he loved himself. And he gave his life 
is very all for us. And so we should give ourselves to him. We should give ourselves to him because he's done so much for us. Praise God. So the people who should show reverence to God was disobedient. And so, um, God was actually pleading with them. How, oh, oh, house of Israel, cannot I do with you the same as that potter is doing to that clay? God is, is, is pleading with his creation. And they're saying, no. I'm not going to serve you. I'm going to live my life the way I feel I should live it. I'm not ready yet. But God wants to change us today. He wants to mold us. He wants to give us life. But sometimes we're saying no. Israel said no. Can we see that 7 and 8, please? Seven and eight. Seven and eight. At what instance I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy? If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. Praise God. Isn't he a good God? No matter how much we rebel against him, the day we turn, he's just ready. He's ready and he's waiting. Praise God. So God says, no matter what your sins are, if I will forgive you, just turn to me now. Praise God. In Jeremiah's day and in our day, God is always in control. God wants to speak to us. And so God is talking about nations to Jeremiah. But here today, God is not talking to us we're not a nation here he's not talking to Canada all of Canada he's just talking to us right here in faith sanctuary we're a group of people we are individuals and God wants to change our life so Jeremiah's Day, God is always in control over all nations, and you and I, God wants to speak to us as a group. I said that before, but I'm just saying it again. God wants to speak to us as a group, as individuals. The potter wants to make and to mold us here at Faith Sanctuary. Praise God into a vessel that's good and pleasing to him. We may think that we are all right. There are many people who think they're, they're all right as they are. But God sees that we need, sees what we need. He sees our brokenness, our disappointments, our emotional hurts, all our rejection. We are physically sick and we are psychologically sick. He sees all of that. He sees all our troubles, all the troubles we go through. He is here. His gentle hands are reaching out to restore, refresh, and to renew us. Praise God. 
So let's stay on the potter's wheel. It's no wonder the image of the potter and the clay shows so frequently in scriptures. And in Genesis 2 verse 7, God formed man out of the dust in the ground, molded out of clay. We are, in sense, just pottery. God physically shaped Adam from the clay or the earth and breathed life into him. We are humans, just earth or clay. The Apostle Paul referred to our bodies as jars of clay. And 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 7, Paul says, but we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency may be of God and not of us. Do you know that every one of us today, under the sound of my voice, can experience that power today as we listen to God and obey him. Every one of us, all we have to do is to obey him and he can put the, his treasure in our earthen vessel. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. I pray that somebody today, somebody will hear and obey and obey God today because we need him, just like we need the oxygen in the air to breathe. Four to six minutes, if we lack oxygen, we are brain dead. We need God. We need God the same way. Because without God, we are dead in trespasses and sin. And here, God just wants us to come to him, and he will mold us and shape our lives. We will feel the joy of his salvation. Praise God. God cares about so much us cares about us so much. We don't care for ourselves as much as God cares about us because he provides for us every day. Every day without fail. In closing, I should have told you when I started first that this is just short. Praise God. So in closing, to say that we are clay in the hand of the potter is to acknowledge God's handiwork as the master of our physical body. It also recognizes God's authority to shape us inwardly to spiritually fashion us into a vessel fit for his use. Molded as an image of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do we want to be like Jesus? We sing all the time, I want to be like Jesus. On earth I long to be like him. Praise God, today we all have the chance to surrender to Jesus Christ. God wants to be a vessel of, wants us to be a vessel of honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Prepared. He wants to prepare us for every hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. He wants to prepare us for every good work for him. So today, if you're here, it may be your first time, and you don't quite understand when I talk about 
the potter wants to mold us. So I'm just saying to you, if you're here and you don't really understand me, if you want God to mold you to be his vessel, just indicate that you need to know more about God. Just raise your hand. I need to know more of God. And I'll tell you, the first step is to repent, to turn away from sin, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the removal of your sins, and he will fill you, fill you with his spirit. Praise God. That's the treasure. It's the treasure that he wants to put in you and in me. Praise God. It's the greatest treasure. It's the greatest treasure you will ever, we will ever have in this life, the Spirit of God. The lotto won't help. If you win this million dollars or ten million dollars, you'll still have some problems. But that treasure, the Holy Spirit in us, God putting it on us, will lead us into all truth. It will direct us day by day. Praise God. He will, it, he will help us to live a better life. A better life. Don't trade this better life for just any old thing. We need Jesus. We need Jesus. Praise God. We need that treasure. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so, if you really want that better thing, how about us making the trip down to the altar and just to say, God, I need you. God, I need you. God, I need you today. We don't know about tomorrow. I need you, Lord, today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you today, Lord, for your words, Lord Jesus. Father, we know, God, that you really, you really have spoken to us today. And we want your words just to go to our hearts to change us. Lord, I just pray, God, that you will help us to hear your words, Lord, and to obey you, Lord God, because you are the best thing that we will ever have. God, bless all of us here today that we will stay on the wheel, the potter's wheel, that you will make us and mold us into the vessels that you want us to be. Good vessels, Lord God, vessels of honor. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.